Hi everyone, I've done it again. I went to a flea market when I went home to Brighton uh, to visit family and I was at the flea market on a Sunday morning at the marina when I came across this uh, fly fishing reel and I absolutely know nothing about fishing um, but I knew when I picked it up what it was, uh, I've seen them before and I just got into an interesting conversation with the guy um, who was a bit curious why I wanted to buy it because I don't eat fish, I've never caught a fish, um, I don't know how to go fishing, but I was just interested in the reel. Um, I think it's KS, I don't know what that means, king size, I don't know, uh, intrepid rim fly, made in England, I don't know, maybe from about 70s onward, in pretty mucky old condition. Uh, another chap on a stall, when I showed it to him later, actually showed me how to take the reel apart and by pinching that little lever there and you can see inside it's all mucky and gritty and dirty um, probably could do with a drop of oil this spindle was quite rusty in here and I've wiped off a bit of it um, but just for fun I want to see if I can make it look a bit tidier again so I'm going to have a go at cleaning it now removing some of these screws I want to know how that little gadget works inside there it's just a simple spring catch of some sort in there probably some bearings or something in there i don't know if it has bearings in it a drop of oil wouldn't hurt i'm going to brush it down with a, a wire brush and i'm contemplating um taking those screws out cleaning it all up and thinking about maybe respraying it um i'll see how it goes once i clean it i might even use I don't know, tempted to use a bit of paint stripper to see if I can get all that nasty old paint off. It's obviously got a bit of sea salt or or some kind of corrosion on it. Maybe not sea salt, sorry. Um, I don't know, maybe somebody used it with some other kind of fishing. But yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to clean it up and I'll kind of keep the records going as I go along to see what it looks like at the end. I know, crazy, but always worth a little tinker. See you later. Hi everyone. Sorry about the lighting conditions but it's very hot in here in Vienna at the moment and I've had to uh, put a shade over the windows and keep it cool inside uh, our apartment. Um, I've now cleaned the uh, reel. I've decided against respraying it or anything like that because I think it's a bit pointless. Um, you know it's just a little project again I was curious to know how it works and to see how it came up. Um, so the inside of the sort of shaft in there um, and this section here was really, really rusty. And I just used some steel wool, um, sort of obviously just scouring the inside and, and poking it through. Um, I fashioned the steel wool into like a, a pin almost and literally just um, reeled it, spun it round um, and it cleaned the inside of the shaft really, really well. Um, I'm really happy with it. It's as clean as a rifle barrel now and that's what I like to see in there. So that worked really well and what I did with the um, the pin, I don't know what it's technical term for the fishing reel is, but I fitted it into the chuck of a, a small drill and just spun it round while I put a bit of steel wool on it and just cleaned that nicely as well. So I'll pop a little bit of um, grease on that later uh, before I put it back together. So cleaned all the various parts up. Um, this outer casing, I mulled over the idea of spraying it. Um, and I thought, again, it's not so badly corroded that it needs it. The inside was really dirty and gritty and a little bit very slightly corroded. Um, so I gave it a good clean. I've just positioned um, the screws back in there. Uh, the screws, no, not the screws, the two springs in there. And I'll... Put that back together but I thought I'd do just a little reassembly if anyone's interested to know what the inside of these reels looks like um, you can see it consists of two little it's all sort of like leaf springs almost in here and um, this plastic um, mount here where the side of the spring lies against sorry about the car there the window's open slightly um, and interestingly I did take a photograph um, before I took it apart um, the positioning of these two plastic pieces here that the spring lies along. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's meant to be adjustable for some sort of tension when you're reeling it. And what I've done is I've put it in exactly the same position as it was when I took it apart. But curiously, you can see one spring is resting on this. It reminds me of a cheese wedge and this slightly rounded edge here. Um, but on this one, the spring is resting on the side. So I don't actually know if that's incorrect or not, or if the previous owner had it like that for tension. But if you're a fly fisherman and you're familiar with these intrepid rim fly reels, um, I'd really welcome your, your feedback on, is that supposed to be adjustable or is that actually clearly in the wrong position? I mean, I couldn't mount it the same as that one. And it looks like it makes sense that it would run across that, but I think I'll leave it as it is. Um, but please, please comment if um, if that's incorrect. I would really love to know. Uh, and then, I'll, of course, I'll remount it correctly. So overall, cleaning wasn't too bad. You can see, um, I think it's probably maybe been used for um, sort of casting in the sea as well, salt or perhaps salt water, because it's definitely got that kind of slightly corroded bit. But I've cleaned everything up. I said I'll put a dab, I'll probably put a dab of grease on those springs to stop them rusting. They were rusty and I rubbed it off a little bit. Um, and I thought I would reassemble it uh, in stages and show you what it looks like. It's a little bit fiddly and uh, trying to do it on camera, I'll probably make a right mess of it. But uh, I'll just show you in detail again this section here. Um, there's this little cap here that has uh, the little symbol on it. it looks like two fish there um, and inside it this is the sort of release section that that you slide along to open it up like that it slides and you can see fitting into that slot is a very very tiny tiny little screw there a oh, screw what am I saying a spring um, so again you just position that on there like that See, I'm all fingers and thumbs in front of the camera. It's a little bit awkward there. So that would like just fit in that little gap there. Like that. And just put two tiny screws with the cap on. Like so. So I'll put part of it back together. Um, you can see the handle again. Clean that all up. Um, again, has two. It has a tiny little screw with a washer in it. And that just slots in there. Very, very easy to put back. Um, so I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, grease on these things and I'll get back to you. Okay, so rightly or wrongly, I've added a little bit of um, grease to the springs. Um, and uh, the shaft of that pin that goes in the middle of the reel. Funny, you watch all these videos of people reassembling things um, and now I can see how really tricky it is. Uh, it's not as easy as it looks. I'm not entirely convinced I've got the right screwdriver head on that. But these two um, little screws were really quite mangled up I have to say and uh, I'm sure they've been taken off and in the past so if I'm not careful I'm probably going to strip the head of them but I think that's on there now yeah oh it's a little bit loose I might swap that screwdriver for a slightly fatter head to to get that in there that's really tricky So I'm ready to continue again. That was a bit of a fight getting these two screws on. Um, the heads are pretty much wrecked, but I used a big fat screwdriver with a, a big head on it to really dig into it and force it. Not the ideal way to do things. And uh, if I ever come across two little screws like that, I'll try and replace that at some point. But it's on, it's really tight, it's not coming off. And the clip works, so that's the main thing. I've put the little handle on. Um, I've now put introduced a bit of grease. What I've done is I've used cotton bud with some nice fat on it, rightly or wrongly smeared, and I'm going to put it over the tops of the screws as well because they were a bit rusty. Uh, I've put it all around the springs, um, a little bit in that shaft there as well. So just tighten those up now. 
I have the sense to put those on in place. Um, so I've gone on YouTube and I've noticed that there are um, a few, well, there's about three videos, I think, on this Intrepid Rimfly. I think the KS now is for king size. Um, and I think it might be a trout um, fly fishing reel from what I've seen online. Again, if you know better, uh, please tell me because I'm always fascinated to know about, you know, what these things are used for. You notice it's got this KS on here. Um, so that's all screwed back together now. Just pop that back in there. It's got a sh kind of chamfered edge on there. I don't know if you can see it. Oops, it's not in focus, but there you go. So it's just going to make sure my eye oh, can see that. That goes like that. Nice and tight in there. I was really surprised as well because I, I totally expected this reel to have some bearings in it, um, but it didn't. Uh, and I've seen online, of course, there are some that have bearings. Um, oh, of course, I didn't bring the big fat screwdriver. Let's just get that positioned in there. I'm sure I have a... About using the wrong tool look at that great big but that's good enough for the moment let's see we've got a big head no i'll have to go and get that one but let's have a look i think it needs a bit more tightening up i'll just get a big screwdriver for that So, this is the Intrepid Rimfly fishing reel, fly fishing reel. That all moves a lot nicer now than it did before. Oh there, yeah, that goes around lovely, that does. Um, I cleaned it up with steel wool on here, got rid of any sort of surface corrosion, scrubbed and cleaned uh, this the casing a little bit. Really couldn't see the point in uh, doing any more to that because it is what it is, it's vintage, I don't know, maybe from the 70s onwards, car passing, I believe they were made in Cornwall, um, I don't think it's worth a huge amount of money, but for, how is it, three euros, two or three euros, no, two or three pounds that I bought in Brighton, um, it's quite a neat thing, and I might keep it, learn how to throw some line onto it, and you never know, uh, maybe next time in Brighton have a go at, uh, casting into the sea and see if I can catch not trout but I don't know just even using it as a basic reel for I don't know I don't know what I'll use it for but I like it so I hope you found that interesting seeing the inside of a, a basic fly fishing reel and I've overhauled it a little bit and it's certainly better than it was when I bought it so thank you